I can remember um, being obsessed with zoology. That's my, been my heart's desire all my life, as far as I can remember back in time. I grew up in Hobart and spent most of the time in a, a bushland garden, catching everything I could find and, and writing, describing it, measuring it. And my, yeah, my career path's not really varied since. I guess an early highlight was my first postdoctoral position in New Zealand, where I was working on a, a, a tiny lighthouse station in the middle of a, a roaring ocean and, and being um, sent across by helicopter. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a, a fun way to start my uh, first research uh, position outside of my, after my PhD. We're basically in a, an extinction crisis, as we all know, it's so the sixth mass global extinction is underway. So the kind of work I do is on threatened species and understanding the major threatening processes. And the big one I study is climate change. So what we're doing is trying to um, work out how to allow animals to persist in the wild and how we might need to assist their adaptations. Well, I mean, there's many gadgets that I can play with now that I, I didn't have 20 years ago, but I mean, it's fundamentally the mobile phone. Working on sea turtles, we've been um, excavating their nests and actually getting 3D um, models of the nest shape by simply putting a phone and scanning the phone. I would say if you're interested in zoology and botany, then this is the time to start. Do as much biology that you're enjoying at school, but don't worry too much if, if you want to do other things. You can start biology at university from scratch. The thing that you really must not drop is your maths. So maths is something that's um, integral to all science and biology is demanding on mathematics abilities as, as many other fields of science.